In downtown Ypsilanti, there's a work of art that's making people stop and see this rose and the name surrounding it. People actually are loved by the community. Like, ain't no neglect towards them just because they've been killed or they've been slain by someone. To be able to come down here and, and know that, you know, your students, one of your students worked on this, uh, it's got to be a, a proud teacher moment for you. It's, it's over the top as far as pride goes because this young man, he's very humble, as 16-year-olds tend to be. The mural is lifting up the names of murder victims, lives taken too soon, people robbed of a future. Your simple gesture is, is helping out a lot of families who are grieving. How does that feel? It feels good. It brings me some type of closure knowing that some of my closest friends' names are up here and they actually being recognized and not being forgotten. 16 year old Deshaun Chambers helped craft this masterpiece. A police department had came out there, crime intervention and stuff like that. They had access to, to talk to the youth and stuff like that to come up with ideas to like stop violence happening in our community. The very next day, I came up with a rose. Me not knowing that my rose actually get, will actually get recognition. Eight months later, this mural stands tall in the center of town. A conversation starter, hopefully leading to solutions to end gun violence, a problem which has plagued small and major American cities. Hopefully this is, you know, the beginning of the end of gun violence. You know, of course this mural, it's, it's art, it's beautiful. Art can be interpreted many ways, um, but there are some, some very important things that we wanted to get across with this. I do love the fact that he's getting some exposure, which gives our community a sense of hope, a different way to create and generate some real value. On Saturday, November 12th, the artists and the groups behind this mural will officially unveil it to the community, including to the families who have lost loved ones. And it will start at 10 a.m. In Ypsilanti, I'm Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.